Hello, this is Ethan James Dartsman. Uh, I thought I would intersperse with all my hardware walkthroughs, um, some software walkthroughs that I use for film scoring. Um, I work primarily as a media composer, um, <clears throat> so not everything I do is in hardware. I use some sample libraries and some other interesting instruments. Um, so I'm going to walk you through a few things that I use um, to make ambiences especially, um, because that's a very useful thing for a film composer to be able to do. So we're going to start with Straylight, which is a contact instrument. Um, this is made by Native Instruments. Um, so, you know, with Native Instruments, there's a bunch of presets, but we're going to talk about how to do this on your own. Uh, so here's just sort of the first preset that loads. Um, so Straylight is a grain sampler, um, uh, or grain synthesizer, however you look at it. Um, basically what it does is it breaks down audio into um, grains, or little like grains of sand, where it's breaking up these little samples, and then sort of you can overlap them, you can reverse them, you can do all this stuff. Um, so this is m maybe a first of a few videos to talk through everything you can do with this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to Utilities, and I'm going to load up an initialized patch. So there's basically nothing here. There's like a sort of a generic sound there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have some assets here that I've made. Uh, so these are actual recordings. Um, so I'm not a violin player, but I do have a violin that I can sound extremely terrible at. Um, so what I've done is, you know, I've made a tremolo on an open A. I am actually a bass player, uh, so I do have some bow skills. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is that this there is a little bit of a display glitch going on here. I've tried to solve it, but it just seems to be what it is. Um, so I have this sound. Um, and you can hear, I'm just pushing the keyboard... <laughs> Uh, if you look down at the bottom, you can see what note I'm pushing. Um, really doesn't matter, um, because we're using this more for ambience right now than actual notes. So, what does the grain sampler do? Um, what we do is, here's, we have uh, the grain section over here, and we can say, how big of a grain do I want? And what you'll notice is that this gets a lot more choppy sounding the bigger the grains okay also you're hearing some panning because we've got panning jitter over here I can set this more in the middle and what's happening is it's sort of just working its way through this recording I made okay so from there there's some basic stuff that you can do to start to just make it work better. Um, number one is the envelope, the attack, and the release over here on the right. So we get a nice fade in. And I'm going to have it sustain at the top volume and then fade out a little slower with the release. Um, other stuff we can do we can turn on jitter. So this is going to make, you see that cursor when I play? Jitter makes the cursor jump more. Okay, and then we're like, why, does, why is this better? <laughs> Maybe it's not. Um, but if we take out the delay, I mean, this has a nice, some nice built-in delay stuff. Okay, we can also turn down the interval a little bit. We can turn up, fade in, and fade out to make these have some texture. Okay. We can also play with starting position here. So this is sort of where your sample is going to come in. We can play with how much of the recording you want to use. Uh, so this is when it gets down into some nice nitty-gritty stuff because we can like really limit this to a sample size
and get find some nice rhythms in here. There's a lot of stuff that can happen with this. Um, we'll try a few different samples. And you notice I have bouncing edges turned on, so when it gets to the end of the recording, it bounces back. If we turn that off, it's sort of like playing straight through. Um, so the cursor is only going from beginning to end, beginning to end, beginning to end. If we have bouncing edges, it's sort of cycling back and forth. Okay. So, that's a good start. This size knob is also very important because this is sort of the amount of overlap of the grains. So I can get a really big choppy sample, right? And we're making the grains bigger here, we're making the gap between the grains bigger there. So bigger and bigger grains, bigger and bigger gaps. Okay, and if we add some reverb to this and we layer this up. some nice washes okay so that's a good uh, overview um, let me so show you one more example um, so I have this creepy melody that I worked on for a film let's see if we can get let's maybe start at the beginning Okay, so already some interesting stuff is happening. We can turn up the panning jitter, we can have it jump around, and we'll get some interesting results from this. So interval here is gap between grains. So this is like, Stray Light is sort of like instant ambience. Um, and I use it a lot for thrillers. And we haven't even really gotten into this other stuff, the tuning and the effects, and there's like some stuff over here. We can have sort of a performance effect happening too um, that we can automate. Um, so I hope this gives you some ideas, and there'll be another video coming. Thanks.